I am Dr. David Randall, and this is the Dr. Pet Show. Thank you for watching, and we're back on live. This is, what is this? This is the 21st, right? Yes, sir. Anyway, bye. Gosh, time flies when you're having fun. But anyway, <clears throat> I know you got to see plenty of uh, Mr. Glass and myself on, um, we did the show two weeks ago, and then Jamie had to be off last Tuesday. So today is a live show. Please don't hesitate. Pick up the phone. We've got phone banks. we got call. We got all type of people back here to answer your calls, okay? The good thing about it is this. All right, you got us for the next 28 minutes, and uh, there's, only, there's only one phone number, 239-417-4711. Don't hesitate to pick up the phone and give us a call. Um, this is Dr. Pet Show. I am Dr. David Randall, and this is the most trusted veterinarian show that I know of. Absolutely. <laughs> there you That's go. one I know of. Charlie. Charlie is here. I met Charlie at the clinic uh, about 10 days ago, I think. Yes, sir. Up. And uh, he's, he's spent a lot of time, you said, in Puerto Rico? Yeah. I and just moved up here to Naples here a couple of months ago. When he says he moved up here, he's serious, okay? Because normally <laughs> we'll hear people, everyone will say, moved well, we down. moved down here. Okay? No. Well, he moved e up here. Exactly. And um, uh, Charlie stopped by because he has a transport company for, for pets. He actually has a pet taxi. So... Um, uh, Charlie, just tell, tell the people about what you do. Well, we can take pets from point A to point B. We can pick them up at uh, daycare, drop them off at home. If someone's working uh, long hours and they can't either pick up or drop off their pet, we can do that for All them. Right, which areas do you cover now? Because I know that we're here in Collier County, and this show goes uh, Collier, Lee, and Hendry County. So you primarily in the Collier Collier County area at this point? Yes, sir. That's correct. All right. And um, so for, for people that uh, they just can't, uh, there's a lot of people that are older, they just can't drive. That would be a great thing. Absolutely. That's and, um, one place where we can be of a good service. I have, uh, I have people call me up uh, at least once a week, and they just can't get the pet in. And um, I know that's where we'll be using it. You know, pick up the phone and we'll say, hey, Charles, is it possible Absolutely. you can make the connections and stuff? And um, I mean, it's definitely, I mean, this area is, 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 is growing, you know, we've got enough people here in the area and enough people that can't drive that uh, that's exactly why I want to bring Charlie in today. Just so you guys know that there is a, a pet taxi and um, uh, you'll do dogs and cats for sure. Absolutely. And uh, you could probably even put a Great Dane in your vehicle if you had to. Absolutely. We could do that. <laughs> we could take a bunny to, cat, to the vet if we needed. There you go. If the uh, people want to ride with you, can they ride with you as well? No, they cannot. That they can. <laughs> violates our insurance. All right. All right. Guys, don't hesitate. Pick up the phone. Give me a call. Uh, Charlie's here. Dr. Randall's here. And um, I've got some cool pictures I'm going to show you in just a little bit, okay? Uh, I, I've been doing sail fishing down the Keys. We do catch and release. But uh, my, my uh, granddaughter, Marissa, uh, they, her, her uh, gymnastics team, the Coastal Elite Gymnastic Team was out in Las Vegas, and uh, their team won number one in the uh, competition. And uh, Marissa was uh, the second uh, uh, number two as far as individual uh, gymnasts out there. She's really quite the little uh, monkey out there on those bars. Those kids are really, <laughs> really incredible. And uh, while they're out in Las Vegas, they got to meet uh, Siegfried, and they got a special tour of uh, where they keep the cats for the shows and stuff out there. So um, we'll have those pictures up in just a little bit. Anyway, don't hesitate. Pick up the phone. Give me a call. Uh, it's another live show. Jim, you want to take a 30-second uh, break? Okay. Oh, stand by. We're getting a call. Charlie? Great. There you go. Hello? Hi, Suzanne. I'm Dr. Randall. What can we do for you tonight? Oh, hi. Um, I have a question. Uh, we adopted a two-year-old Hello? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, turn, turn the television down. There's a five-second delay. So okay. if you're watching your set, then you're going to get confused. Just turn the volume down, and you'll be fine. Okay, it's down. Okay. Okay. Uh, we adopted a two-year-old uh, dog from the Humane Society a few weeks ago. Yes, ma'am. And um, he's, he's really taken to me. He really likes me a lot. And but the problem is when we take him outside to go to the bathroom, he will not go out for my husband. He's just like my shadow, and he will not go out for my husband for nothing. How can we fix that? I wish Mr. Glass was here from Barkbusters because he is the dog trainer. And um, let's see. If Mr. Glass was here, what would he say? 
Um, what your husband needs to do is he needs to put the pet on about a six foot leash, okay? Okay. And he needs to go down to eye level to the pet. He needs to get down because your husband is a towering person and this dog feels threatened by this big, tall, towering person. So if he would just go down, even down to his knees and just call the dog and start giving him treats and everything, and then mm -hmm. once the dog has taken the first step or two going to him, you know, and your husband, he's not gonna snatch him back, but after he goes down, if he has a little treat, call the pet, call the pet, maybe just one quick little tug. And when he's down at eye level, or pretty close to eye level, as soon as that dog takes the first step, he will continue right into your husband. And then when your husband gets there, let him just pet him, stay down at his level, give him a treat. If he does that for a couple of days at the house, then uh, that pet will happily go outside with your husband, okay? But your husband's gotta get down to the pet's level and this dog will not feel threatened at all, okay? Okay, great. What t what's, what's the dog's name? Uh, Lucky. <laughs> oh, there you go, Lucky Dog. <laughs> You know, yep, you know, Susan, sure is. Thank you. hey, Susan, I hate to tell you this, but most of the time when we see dogs by the name of Lucky that come into the clinic, I swear this is Bible. They've got uh, three legs or maybe one <laughs> eye, okay, <laughs> or they're missing half their teeth. <laughs> so, uh, hope, if, if this dog starts to have injuries of any type, change the name immediately, okay? Oh, don't say that. <laughs> well, I don't know. Anyway, tell your husband to get down, stop stop towering over top of that dog, and uh, Lucky will be just fine, okay? Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you for your call. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. Charlie, that's how it's done. That's great. All right, so, um, guys, it's a live TV show tonight. It's the 21st of January, 2014, and uh, uh, Charlie's here. He's got a pet transport uh, um, system right here in Collier County, and, I mean, I can see this people calling up and scheduling um, for you to pick up their pet to take them to the groomer or take them to the veterinarian or the vet calling up and saying, hey, Charlie, uh, this person can't get the pet in. Can you stop by and picking it up? Absolutely. Um, you know, all those things. Or even people people do transport. Um, a lot of you guys fly your pets back and forth up north, you know, going to the That's uh, going true, to the too. Airport we can make stuff. trips to the airport. Mm -hmm. And, uh, no, it's, it's, this is definitely, this is something I'm very happy to see. Transport Tales? Transport Tales? Yes, transporttales.com. You, <laughs> you can check that website out. Our pricing is on there. It's very reasonable. If you have any questions, you can contact me uh, personally at charlie at transporttales.com or you can call me at area code 239-671-5227. All right, we'll get that up there a couple of different times and all. Hey, guys, it's a live show. Please pick up the phone and give me a call. You got me for about another 23 minutes, okay? We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. I'm Dr. David Randall for Big Cypress Animal Clinic and your doctor for pets. I want to introduce you to the iTherm, a non-invasive, fast, effective healing, rehab, and pain management system. This is Kevin. iTherm is molecular hyperthermia. It can treat a variety of disorders ranging from cancer, arthritis, hip dysplasia, soft tissue management, wound healing. Very simple, uh, non-invasive. Uh, and it works. It works. It Highly works. efficacious. It works. Now exclusively at Big Cypress Animal Clinic. That is a really good machine right there. And by the way, you do not have to be one of my clients, okay? If you come in there, if you have a pet that's limping and you haven't been to Big Cypress before, you can come in, pick up one of the pamphlets about the eye therm. Um, or if, if your veterinarian wants to refer you over, fantastic. If you're just looking for some other type of pain uh, therapy, as far as the dog that's limping or uh, it's got wounds that aren't healing, um, you know, we'll just, we'll just take you in and, um, and, and make it happen. That's a really magic, magic type machine. Uh, I do want to show you these pictures about uh, my granddaughter. You know, Grandpa's got to brag a little bit every now and then and stuff. And then we'll go back, pick up the phone, and give me a call, please. Let's see what you got, Jamie. All right, so uh, Marissa is the uh, tallest young lady there. That's my granddaughter. My daughter, Nikki, and Randall, they're out in uh, Vegas. That's Siegfried, and um, they, get, they get some special invitations. Randall is uh, one of St. Jude's patients, and I'll leave it at that. And uh, they get some special invitations and uh, anyway, they had a great time. I've got pictures on my phone of the cats and stuff that they had. They had a back, back. Uh, they had the tour of the back where they keep all the pets and stuff like that. It's uh -huh. pretty, pretty interesting. Now for the gymnast. There you go. This is the uh, Coastal Elite gymnast, and uh, they actually won first place out in Las Vegas this past weekend. And last but not least is uh, Marissa. There you go, <laughs> Marissa Nightjack up there in Fort Myers. 
And um, she was number two of, of, of all the gymnasts. The amazing thing is that she's a level 10 and uh, gosh, she's 13 years of age. And I mean, she's, she's, she's pretty good at it. I know the family's pretty happy uh, with her and stuff, but anyway, all right, that's enough grandpa stuff right there. <laughs> Uh, I am Dr. David Randall. This is the Dr. Pet Show. It's a live call-in show every Tuesday from 6 until 6.30. We've got three lines. Are they all open, Jamie? They're all open. Pick up the phone. Give me a call, guys. You can get right on in. 239-417-4711. All right. And what I was telling you also, um, my friend Charlie's here has got a pet transport. Uh, uh, it's a taxi. And I mean, when it pulls up, it's... It looks like a Chicago taxi cab almost. It is. <laughs> it is. And uh, it's, it's, it really is quite a good thing to have as far as uh, people. You know, um, people are busy and they can't get out. The, the, probably the most common one that I see is, uh, is, is people are just older and they can't get Some their Some people pet. don't drive and right. we can take their pet to the vet. We can wait for them right. for the pet and then deliver the pet back home right. safely. That is that that really is a, is a great service stuff. We also um, there's another um, there's another group here in town, uh, Gaday Pet Service, and I know um, Gaday they will go out and uh, they do a lot of the the, uh, the in-house pet care. Uh -huh. So they they've got a couple of different services from um, you know transporting of pets and stuff, but they they do a lot more of you know, going to the house and letting the dogs out, letting them exercise, all those right, type of things. Right. And uh, they'll still do the taxi, but they're not like you, Charlie. They're not just specifically designed just to do taxis and everything. So, eh, that. That's funny, the last one, especially since I was just talking about Las Vegas, don't you think, Jamie? <laughs> I'll tell you what that means in just a second, guys. Hi, Noel. I'm Dr. Randall. I have Charlie here with me. What can we do for you tonight? Hi, I'm huh. new to the area. I just moved to Bonita Springs. I nice. lived in Charlotte County for 25 years. Fabulous. I have an eight-year-old Havanese. Mm -hmm. uh, her name is Star. And um, she got kind of, I'm not sure if she got bit up by fire ants or she just got something irritated on her belly. And mm -hmm. I kind of went on the internet and I looked and I saw that Ella was, it said it was okay. And then I found out later Ella was not okay <laughs> to put on the dog. So if she gets something that's irritating her skin, like on her belly area, mm -hmm. what would be good to put on that area to keep her from, like, chewing herself to death? <laughs> uh, did you say aloe? They couldn't put it on the skin? I, well, I first I, I looked on the Internet first before I put aloe on her, and uh -huh. it had said, yes, it was okay. But then I called my vet, uh -huh. and they said aloe was toxic to dogs. So I almost had a heart attack because I, I thought I was going to come home Nor to a I. very sick dog. I will tell you what, Noel, I will look into that because I put, I put, um, I do a lot of natural things. I, I do aloe. I also do a lot of um, um, uh, organic honey for wounds. Uh -huh. I did not know that. And you're sure about this. Well, that's what the, when I called to be uh -huh. sure, yeah. you know, I called the next day because um, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't doing something because I'm very careful about not, yeah. you know. It's on my hand, and, girl. Yeah. And they, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not going to forget about it. I, I'm not going to put it on my iPhone, but I do have it on my hand. So I, w I will look that up because I have used that before. All right, let me tell you real quick what you're dealing with, okay? okay. You're dealing with what we call atopy or allergic dermatitis. And the Havanese are in the family of pets that we see that have this. And in, you can have allergies to food, you can have allergies to fleas, or you can just have allergies to pollens. And it's in certain family lines. The terriers, the West Highland Terrier, the Yorkie Terrier, the Scotty Terrier, the Havanese. Uh, we see a lot of the uh, Bichons that have it. In the bigger dogs, it's normally the Retrievers. It's normally the Goldens and the Labs, okay? but. Um, I mean, you can always try Benadryl over the counter. Um, a Bichon, what, what, what does she, I mean, a Havanese, what does she weigh, like 12 pounds, 15 pounds? Uh, she weighs a little more than that because she takes um, Royal Canine SO moderate calorie, yeah, and that okay. dog food makes her fat. <laughs> okay, all right, well, that's, that's fine. At least you're going to keep her from having stones, um, yeah. hopefully with it, knock on wood. But um, yeah, she's you, already been there, been there, done that. That's why she's on the food. Yeah. All right. So anyway, you can do Benadryl over the counter, adult dose, 25 milligrams, up to three times a day. That's one. Mm -hmm. Number two is that we use aloe and oatmeal shampoos all the time. That's why I don't understand this aloe thing. 
and okay. we have um, aloe and oatmeal conditioners we put on their belly. Okay, uh, okay. so I, I I think the aloe is probably I think somebody's mistaken on that. Now, when we start treating them medically, it's a whole different game. Okay, we get them in there if they're having earaches, if they're chewing their feet, if the rash is bad on their tummy. Then I'll do a blood glucose, make sure they're not a diabetic, maybe put them on prednisone for a couple, couple of days and give them a shot of antibiotics to clean up the pimples that are there, okay? If it reoccurs, then we go ahead and we put them on Atopica. And uh, Atopica is a product that uh, stops allergic dermatitis. And it's, it is, this is cyclosporine. It's not an antibiotic. It's not cortisone. And the dogs take this for about six months or so. So you've got some of the dogs that need just a quick fix, and you can try your home remedies such, such as aloe, okay, <laughs> or Benadryl, a cold water bath, those type of things. But um, if you've got to go to the vet and the dog's still itching, my, uh, my personal way that I do it, uh, blood glucose, if, as long as they're not a diabetic, prednisone for three or four days, a good shot of antibiotics that'll last for two weeks and you're out of there. Long term, it's Atopica, okay? Okay, and one other quick question. Okay. Is there, um, is there, and um, like I just came from Charlotte County, and we had one emergency vet that it stays open, you know, twenty four hours in case you have an emergency. Yep. Is, are, is there one right there by you? you like, yeah, you've got one. You've got you've got two of them right there by you. Let, okay. Let me pull out the information here. Do, 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 do. There you go. All right, you got you got two of them right up there by you. Um, now you know I'm gonna have to get my glasses out for this one. All right, you know where the uh, Benita dog track is? Yes. Okay, on Old 41, across from the dog track, is Southwest Florida Veterinarian Specialist. Their phone number is 239-992-8387. And uh, the doctor, doctors there, Dr. Arsenal, Dr. Patrick, great. This, this, is, this place here is top-notch, and they're not going to take every penny that you've got, okay? Sure. They're good. They'll give you an estimate. And... I think that they're one of the most fairest emergency places that are around. The next one is in Estero, up there by you, and it's off of uh, Corkscrew. This is called Florida Veterinary Referral Center and 24-Hour Emergency Clinic. And uh, love them. I've used them before for my own pets. All right? Their phone number is 239-992-8878. I've used both of these hospitals. Okay. They're reasonable, they're professional, and they have specialists, and that's where you want to go if you're in Southwest Florida for right now, okay? Great. Thank you very much. You bet, Noel. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Yep. Bye-bye. Fantastic. Good question. Absolutely. I, Ch good Ch question. Charlie, I'm going to tell you, we have a lot of allergies. Uh -huh. I bet you half the pets I see have some type of an allergy. But good. Now we're rolling. Hi, Audrey. I'm Dr. Randall. How are you? Good. Thanks. So, um, I, hey, Audrey, my, did, you, did you get my little joke about... My granddaughter and grandson and family were out in Las Vegas. I, you know, I turned it on after that. Sorry All right. So, that. anyways, I was talking back to Jamie and stuff, and I just showed a picture of my grandkids out in uh, Las Vegas with Siegfried right. and Roy, and then all of a sudden I've got Audrey um, calling up. So you know, I'm thinking about National Lampoon's uh, 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 vacation. Oh right? yeah, <laughs> yeah, the daughter. Isn't that a isn't that a great movie? Love it, love it. <laughs> It's the tree. I, in fact, on my uh, Christmas tree this year, I bought a stuffed squirrel because the tree was gigantic. So we stuck it like a squirrel in it to make it look like that tree. I, I've got to get a squirrel because I actually, um, even though on my fishing I do catch and release, uh, there was a taxidermist that was going out of uh, business and um, <laughs> he was selling to the wall. So I actually have the moose head. Okay, and they're they're huge. A imagine. moose's nose is bigger than my face, okay? Oh, but my so, God. And the house is fairly large, so I've got the moose head there. And uh, Christina and I have been talking, like, we've got to get a stuffed squirrel over there by, by the moose. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, now, we may be, I may be showing my age at that point, okay? <laughs> oh, well, that's all right. All right, so what's your, what's your question, Audrey? So I have a male lasso off, so he's uh, nine years old. Mm -hmm. And he has a perineal hernia mm -hmm. and so you know i know like if, if i got it repaired i'd have to take it to a specialist and mm -hmm. it would be really expensive and i'm wondering how necessary is it to get it repaired can i keep him on like lactulose forever mm -hmm. yes ma'am you so sure can you sure can oh, let, okay. let me try to describe for, for our audience um 
what happens if you're looking at the dog south end? I don't think I have a dog here anymore. No. If you're looking at a dog south end and the tail, then you have the rectum. And um, what happens is that the abdominal muscles are very weak and it breaks down. So the guts actually push back there by the side of um, the anus itself. So when the dog's squeezing to go to the bathroom, uh, you'll actually have the intestines come back there. Um, yeah, it's, it's very expensive as far as getting it done. And uh, right. the thing with it is that um, probably, probably 10 to 20% of the surgeries, even if you spend two or $3,000, uh, it breaks back down because that tissue is wow. so weak. So I can guarantee you, even if you go to a specialist, they're probably not going to guarantee it. And I love your idea right there as far as uh, the lactulose, you know, trying to keep mm -hmm. the stool a little bit softer, frequent walk so he's not, you know, having hard stool that he's trying to uh, defecate with. But um, no, I think what you're doing right there is fine. W where do you live? Um, in uh, San Carlos, near okay. Sparrow. All right. If, if you want to get the 911 on this, as far right. as having it repaired and cost, I would at least suggest that you go in for probably $100 um, to a specialty uh, place and, and um, ask them to at least give you the 911. So you know what is, uh, no, 411. 911 is right. I knew it. Exactly. <laughs> Charlie, you're yeah. supposed to slap me in the back of the head when I make those things. Okay. I'm a little shy. <laughs> do, do, do what I'm thinking, not what I say, okay? <laughs> All right, so anyway. Um, the 411, you could go over there to uh, Dr. Jason Isley, fantastic guy, great surgeon. Um, he's off of Daniels Road now up in uh, Fort Myers, just, just uh, has built a new facility there. Let me at least give you Dr. Isley's phone number, okay? Okay, And I think, I think you could at least get, um, you know, I'm sure for $100 or so, you're going to be talking to a board-certified specialist, specifically mm -hmm. ask for Dr. Isley when you go in there, and uh, his name is Jason, J A. S O N. Oh, you got it up there on the screen. There it is, right there. And right. phone number is sitting right there, two three nine nine four seven zero five eighty eight. And okay. um, but uh, you know, unless you have probably a, a couple two or three thousand dollars sitting around, um, I think I like your idea. But I would at least have a specialist opinion one time, okay? I will. Okay, I appreciate the help. Okay, Audrey. Thanks. Thanks for the joke, and uh, thanks for calling in tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, guys, thank you for calling. We've got, oh, I don't know, about another five, six, seven minutes. So uh, pick up the phone and give us a call. We're going to take a short break. Dr. David Randall here. Welcome to Big Cypress Animal Clinic. Big Cypress Animal Clinic is on East US 41, Naples, Florida. It's a member of the American Animal Hospital Association. Big Cypress Animal Clinic is a full service hospital. Puppies, kittens, and all your adult pets needs. Boarding, bathing, x-rays, surgery, blood work, right on the premises. Come in and meet our professional staff. We have Dr. Kerry Fortu, Brother Barry back here, and all the other professional people that work here at Big Cypress Animal Clinic. Come in, I can't wait to see you soon. Good day. I'm Dr. David Randall from Big Cypress Animal Clinic and your doctor for pets. I want to introduce you to the iTherm, a non-invasive, fast, effective healing, rehab, and pain management system. This is Kevin. iTherm is molecular hyperthermia. It can treat a variety of disorders ranging from cancer, arthritis, hip dysplasia, soft tissue management, wound healing. Very simple, uh, non-invasive. Uh, and it works. It works. It Highly works. efficacious. It works. Now exclusively at Big Cypress Animal Clinic. Good day. Does your dog have a nickname? <laughs> if your dog's behavior keeps you inventing new nicknames, remember this name. Barkbusters, the world's most trusted dog trainers. They'll transform your dog into a happy, obedient companion in just two hours in your home and provide a lifetime guarantee. Rate your dog's behavior at BarkBusters.com. Barkbusters, training dogs the Aussie way. I'm Dr. David Randall, second generation veterinarian at Big Cypress Animal Clinic in Naples, Florida. I recommend FlexPet because it's the most complete natural formula available for joint health. Pets love the taste of it and FlexPet works. It's great stuff. Come into Big Cypress Animal Clinic in Naples, Florida and pick up a bottle of FlexPet. Call today for a special introductory offer. That's 1-888-END-PAIN. That's 1-888-END-PAIN. 
This is Dr. Pet Show. Thank you for calling. I've got about three minutes. Jamie, we'll close up with the taxi, okay? You guys are going to love Charlie's Taxi. Uh, hi, Ann. I'm Dr. Randall. What can I do for you tonight? Oh, hi. Hi, Ann. Um, I have a... Ann, it's a five-second delay. you got to turn your volume down, okay? You'll never get the question done. Turn your volume down, Ann, and just ask your question. Okay? I did. Okay, fire away, honey. Okay. I have... Um... And just keep, I have, just, just um, keep talking. A, okay, I have a um, Norwich Terrier. Okay, Norwich Terrier. Yes, ma'am. What about it? Who, who will be 12 in March? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. My question is, every year she... She has to have her teeth cleaned in the fall. Okay. Go right. ahead and, and just... Now, do you think this fall that she's too old? All right, and the answer to you is no. 12 years of age is not... And you got to turn your volume down, but let me finish this up, and I'm going to try to get Pat on. Uh, and 12 years of age is a young dog. Have your veterinarian do blood work, put a catheter in it, and uh, I'll be putting a 16-year-old dog under anesthetic tomorrow for a dental. So 12 years of age is not too old. Call me again next week. Remember, turn your volume down. Pat, Pat, I'm Dr. Randall. You're going to have about a minute and a half. Can you go? Pat? Hello. Hey, Pat, what's your question? Pat? Hi, Doc. Hey, um, hi. I have a turn your volume. Bulldog. <laughs> we have lived in Florida for five years, and he has done so well. Okay. But I'm I'm noticing under his front toes, uh -huh. they're they're turning a rusty color red, mm -hmm. and he's licking his front feet. Yes. And they're getting stained. Okay. All right. Is, what type, Pat? What type of dog is it? Bulldog. Okay, bulldog. bulldog. Okay. You have the same problem that the lady called about earlier uh, with her Havanese. You have allergies to grasses and pollens, okay? You can rinse the feet off with water every time you come from outside, or you can go ahead and get a shot of antibiotics to clean up the infection and put your pet on Atopica. It's spelled A-T-O-P-I-C-A. A convenient antibiotic shot, Atopica, and rinsing the feet off with, uh, with just water every time you come back, and that'll take care of it for you, Pat, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you for your call. All right, Charlie, thank you for coming in. Thank hey, you, doctor. they do not have the picture of the taxi. I will get a picture of the taxi. We'll get it up there, if nothing else, next week and all. But Great. Anyway, appreciate uh, it. Charlie, transports pets and stuff. What's your uh, website again, phone number? Transportales.com. <laughs> we're licensed, we're bonded, we're insured. You can call me on area code 239-671-5227. Good day. Have a good one. I'll see you next week live. Bye-bye.